Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about how much money AI and machine learning engineers make. If you're just starting out in tech or thinking about switching into AI engineering, this could really help you out. I talked about the top software engineering salaries in my last video. And one of the questions I got in the comment section was from user ID ABJ, I think it's ABJ Naya. Thank you for the comment. And he asked if I can also talk about top AI engineering salaries. So here we go. Now I'm using the same website called levels.fyi to categorize a job into different levels and find out how much they pay at various companies. The way this site works is that everyone anonymously submits their own salary information and we can look at the salaries based on various filters. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by levels.fyi. I just find it really helpful because it's been pretty accurate in my experience. First, we're gonna look at US-based salaries by levels and I'll briefly talk about global salaries. And lastly, a topic that everyone's always asking me about, which is the remote engineering salaries for AI engineers. If this topic sounds interesting, smash that like button and let's dive into it. First of all, let's dive into the entry level. I have filtered for salaries updated in the past year, specifically in the US. There's a lot of debate about what qualifies as an entry level, but for this filter setting for levels at FYI, it is set to zero to one year of experience. And it's like the starting point in their world of working in tech. For this level, the highest pay was FATIC Investments at $594,000. I'm just going to be rounding them up to the thousands. And I've never actually heard of this company, Vatic Investments, so I had to Google it. It apparently is a private equity investment. This person is in New York and despite having zero years of experience, still got $250,000 of base salary and a bonus of $344,000. And whoever you are, kudos to you. Good job securing that high pay as a new junior engineer. Next in line is Radix Trading. They are also based in New York with an entry level total compensation of $525,000. Same base of 250 as the first company, but a slightly less bonus of 275,000 with one year of experience. Third is Jane Street at $518,000 with a slightly higher base pay of 300K. And the first non-finance company in the entry level category was Cruise with $465,000. This person is in San Francisco with one year of experience. And I'm sure you're familiar with Cruise, the top autonomous vehicle company. They've been on the news quite a lot recently for good and bad. And fifth, place following Cruise is Nero, also a self-driving car company based in the Silicon Valley. And the total compensation for this person was $460,000. And now let's move on to the mid-level roles, which according to levels that FYI filter are levels with two to six years of experience. First on the list is Hudson River Trading offering $2.1 million in total compensation. But I do want to note that this might be a bit of an exception as the base salary was only at $200,000 and the bonus was really significant at $1.9 million, which contributed to the overall annual earnings, which is, I guess, not unusual for finance industry. The second company was OpenAI with a total compensation of $925,000 with a base salary of 300 k Next was technically principal SDE at Amazon, which appeared on the list, but I'm going to just exclude that because that's not really a mid-level engineering role. So moving on, we have L6 at Cruise boasting a total compensation of $806,000. This breaks down into a base salary of 283K, total stock RSUs amounting to 466K, and the bonus of $57,000. Following closely, we find AppLovin securing the fourth spot with a total compensation of 800K, while Grammarly is not too far behind at $780,000 in total compensation. Now let's look at senior level, which according to levels.fii are roles with seven plus years of experience. This is where a lot of the Fang companies start to show up. At the top, we have Facebook E7, which is pretty 
pretty damn senior with a total compensation of $1,965,000. This included a base salary of $285,000 stock RSU totaling $1.6 million and a bonus of $80,000. Just to give you a little more context, an E7 level at Facebook would be somewhat similar to a principal engineer and that is why I excluded the as principal engineer Amazon from the previous list. The person holding this particular position at Facebook reported 17 years of experience working in tech. Following closely was an L9 at Google with a total compensation of $1,570,000. These numbers are so high, it's kind of difficult to speak. <laughs> okay, well, this person from Google also is very seasoned. He or she has 30 years of experience. Securing the third place is Cruz L8 at $1,340,000, followed by Pinterest at $1,310,000, and Netflix at $1.2 million. These numbers pretty much show that experienced people in the tech industry really get good pay as they move up in their careers. It's not easy to get to this level, but if you can wing it, the payout is great. Now, if I take away the filter that shows jobs only in the US and look at jobs all around the world, the ranking pretty much stays the same, which tells us that United States is where you can find the jobs that pay the most. And if you are aiming for those high paying jobs, US is probably where you would want to be. But I know many people want to work remotely. Here is a list of entry level remote jobs all around the world. Ranking at number one is Pinterest at $300,000. Number two was Amazon at $272,000. Next is Intel at $217,000. Number four is Dropbox at $202,000. And lastly, Twitter is at $186,000. As you can see, the pay is significantly less compared to the earlier list, but it's still a good amount of money, especially if you're looking for that flexibility to work from anywhere. Now, if you want to learn more about whether AI engineering career is the right career for you, watch this video. Otherwise, this is the video that YouTube thinks you should watch next.